Do you feel like you don't speak enough Korean? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's your favorite number? After watching this video, you'll be able to say many numbers and ask someone their favorite number. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? 7이에요. Once more with the English translation. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? What's your favorite number? 7이에요. It's 7. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What's your favorite number? That's 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? Listen to it again. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? This Korean sentence literally translates into favorite number is what, but it means what's your favorite number in English. Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is number. 이에요. 이에요. This Korean sentence literally translates into number it is, but it means it's number in English. For example, it's seven. 7이에요. 7이에요. Here are a few more numbers you can use with the same pattern. 7 7 7 2 2 4 4 4 9 9 Cool. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? 2예요. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? 4예요. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? 구예요. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's your favorite number? <목소리> 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? Imagine it's two. Do you remember how to say two? E. E. Say it's two. E. Yeah. Now answer the question saying it's two. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? Now imagine it's four. Do you remember how to say four? Sa. Sa. Say it's four. Sa yeah. Now answer the question by saying it's four. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? 4예요. Now, imagine it's 9. Do you remember how to say 9? 
Cool. Cool. Say, it's nine. Cool. Now, answer the question saying, it's nine. 좋아하는 숫자가 뭐예요? In this lesson, you learned number-related phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about numbers. You are now able to count like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what kind of movies do you like? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about movies and ask other people about their favorite kinds of movies. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? 공포 영화가 좋아요. Once more with the English translation. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? What kind of movies do you like? 공포 영화가 좋아요. I like horror movies. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What kind of movies do you like? That's 어떤 영화가 좋아요? Listen to it again. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? 어떤 영화가 좋아요? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is Type of movie 가 좋아요 This Korean sentence literally translates as Type of movie I like But it means I like type of movie movies For example I like horror movies 공포 영화가 좋아요 here are a few more kinds of movies you can use with the same pattern to talk about movies. Horror. 공포 영화. 공포 영화. Comedy. 코미디 영화. 코미디 영화. Fantasy. Fantasy 영화. Fantasy 영화. Romance. Romance 영화. Romance 영화. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? 코미디 영화가 좋아요. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? 판타지 영화가 좋아요. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? 로맨스 영화가 좋아요. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say what kind of movies do you like? Imagine you like comedies. Do you remember how to say comedy? Comedy Comedy Say, I like comedies. Now, answer the question saying that you like comedies. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? Comedy 영화가 좋아요. Now imagine that you like fantasy movies. Do you remember how to say fantasy? Fantasy 영화 Fantasy 영화 
Say, I like fantasy movies. Now, answer the question saying you like fantasy movies. Now imagine you like romantic movies. Do you remember how to say romantic? Romance 영화. Romance 영화. Say, I like romantic movies. Romance 영화가 좋아요. Now answer the question saying you like romantic movies. 어떤 영화가 좋아요? Romance 영화가 좋아요. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about movies. You are now able to talk about types of movies like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what are you doing during the holiday? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your holiday plans. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 추석에 어디 가요? 바닷가에 갈 계획이에요. Once more with the English translation. 추석에 어디 가요? What are you doing for Korean Thanksgiving? 바닷가에 갈 계획이에요. I'm planning to go to the beach. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What are you doing for Korean Thanksgiving? That's... 추석에 어디 가요? Chuseok is a three-day harvest festival celebrated when there is a full moon on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar. Listen to it again. 추석에 어디 가요? 추석에 어디 가요? This Korean sentence literally translates as, Where are you going during Korean Thanksgiving? But it means, What are you doing for Korean Thanksgiving? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is, Plan. 일 계획이에요. I'm planning to plan. For example, I'm planning to go to the beach. 바닷가에 갈 계획이에요. 바닷가에 갈 계획이에요. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk about your plans. Go to the beach. 바닷가에 가다. 바닷가에 가다. Travel. 여행하다. 여행하다. Stay home. 집에 있다. 집에 있다. Go to the movies. 영화관에 가다. 영화관에 가다. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 추석에 어디 가요? 여행할 계획이에요. 추석에 어디 가요? 집에 있을 계획이에요. 추석에 어디 가요? 영화관에 갈 계획이에요. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, What are you doing for Korean Thanksgiving?
추석에 어디 가요? Imagine you're planning to travel. Do you remember how to say travel? 여행하다. 여행하다. Say, I'm planning to travel. 여행할 계획이에요. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to travel. 추석에 어디 가요? Now, imagine you're planning to stay home. Do you remember how to say, stay home? 집에 있다. 집에 있다. Say, I'm planning to stay home. 집에 있을 계획이에요. Now answer the question saying you're planning to stay home. 추석에 어디 가요? 집에 있을 계획이에요. Now imagine you're planning to go to the movies. Do you remember how to say, go to the movies? 영화관에 가다. 영화관에 가다. Say, I'm planning to go to the movies. 영화관에 갈 계획이에요. Now, answer the question saying you're planning to go to the movies. 추석에 어디 가요? 영화관에 갈 계획이에요. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about your plans. You're now able to talk about your holiday plans like a native speaker. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. 2. Save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And 3. Watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking on the phone. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for someone on the phone and to put someone on hold. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 여보세요. 담당자와 통화하고 싶은데요. 네. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Once more with the English translation. 여보세요. 담당자와 통화하고 싶은데요. Hello. I'd like to speak with the person in charge. 네. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Okay. Just a moment. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say hello on the phone. That's... 여보세요. 여보세요. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, I'd like to speak with person. The pattern is person. 와, 과, 통화하고 싶은데요. This Korean sentence literally translates as person with talk on the phone want, but it means I'd like to speak with person. For example, hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. 여보세요. 담당자와 통화하고 싶은데요. 여보세요. 담당자와 통화하고 싶은데요. Now, how do you answer this question? 
네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Okay, just a moment. Listen to it again. 네, 잠, 시, 만, 기, 다, 려, 주, 세, 요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. This Korean sentence literally translates as, yes, moment wait, but it means, okay, just a moment. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk on the phone. The person in charge. 담당자 담당자 A sales representative. 영업사원 영업사원 The manager. 매니저 매니저 Customer service. 고객 서비스. 고객 서비스. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 영업사원과 통화하고 싶은데요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 매니저와 통화하고 싶은데요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 고객 서비스와 통화하고 싶은데요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to speak with person? person 와, 과, 통화하고 싶은데요. And how do you answer it? <목소리> 네. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Imagine you want to talk to a sales representative. Do you remember how to say a sales representative? 영업사원. 영업사원. Say, I'd like to speak with a sales representative. Now say you want to talk to a sales representative and answer it. 영업사원과 통화하고 싶은데요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Now, imagine you want to talk to the manager. Do you remember how to say, the manager? 매니저, 매니저. Say, I'd like to speak with the manager. 매니저와 통화하고 싶은데요. Now say you want to talk to the manager and answer it. 매니저와 통화하고 싶은데요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. Now imagine you want to talk to customer service. Do you remember how to say customer service? 고객 서비스 고객 서비스 Say, I'd like to speak with customer service. 고객 서비스와 통화하고 싶은데요. Now say you want to talk to customer service and answer it. 고객 서비스와 통화하고 싶은데요. 네, 잠시만 기다려 주세요. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk on the phone. 
You're now able to answer the phone like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking with friends. After watching this video, you'll be able to have a casual conversation with a friend, and to say something is super. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Ya, 저차좀 봐. 와, 완전 멋지다. Once more with the English translation. Ya, 저차좀 봐. Hey, look at that car. 와, 완전 멋지다. Wow, that's super cool. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, Hey, look at that car. That's... Ya, 저차좀 봐. Listen to it again. Ya, 저, 차, 좀, 봐. Ya, 저차좀 봐. This Korean sentence literally translates as, Hey, that car a bit, look. But it means, Hey, look at that car. Now, how do you respond to this? First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, wow. That's... Wa. Wa. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, that's super adjective. The pattern is... Wanjun. Adjective. This Korean sentence literally translates as, totally adjective. But it means, that's super adjective. For example, that's super cool. Wan Ton Mot Ti Ta Wan Jon Mot Jida. Here are a few more words you can use with the same pattern to talk about something. Cool Mot Jida. 멋지다. Cool. 멋지다. Cute. 귀엽다. 귀엽다. Cute. 귀엽다. Ugly. 추하다. 추하다. Ugly. 추하다. Nice. 좋다. 좋다. Nice. 좋다. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Yeah. 저차좀 봐. 완전 귀엽다. Hey, look at that car. 야, 저차좀 봐. That's super cute. 완전 귀엽다. 야, 저차좀 봐. 완전 추하다. Hey, look at that car. 야, that's super ugly. 완전 추하다. 야, 저차좀 봐. 완전 좋다. Hey, look at that car. 야, 저차좀 봐. That's super nice. 완전 좋다. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, Hey, look at that car. Ya, 저차좀 봐. 
Now, imagine you want to say something is super cute. Do you remember how to say cute? 귀엽다. 귀엽다. Say, that's super cute. 완전 귀엽다. Now, respond using cute. 야, 저차좀 봐. 완전 귀엽다. Now imagine you want to say something is super ugly. Do you remember how to say ugly? 추하다. 추하다. Say, that's super ugly. 완전 추하다. Now respond using ugly. 야, 저차좀 봐. 완전 추하다. Now imagine you want to say something is super nice. Do you remember how to say nice? 좋다. 좋다. Say, that's super nice. 완전 좋다. Now respond using nice. 야, 저차좀 봐. 완전 좋다. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use to talk with friends. You're now able to have a casual conversation like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what are you doing? After watching this video, you'll be able to answer this question and tell someone something about what you're writing. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 뭐 하고 있어요? 내 일기를 쓰고 있어요. Once more with the English translation. 뭐 하고 있어요? What are you doing? 내 일기를 쓰고 있어요. I'm writing my journal. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What are you doing? That's 뭐 하고 있어요? Listen to it again. 뭐 하고 있어요? 뭐 하고 있어요? This Korean sentence literally translates as, What doing are you? But it means, What are you doing? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is, Object. 을 쓰고 있어요. This Korean sentence literally translates as, I object writing about am. But it means, I'm writing object. For example, I'm writing my journal. 내 일기를 쓰고 있어요. 내 일기를 쓰고 있어요. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern. My journal. 내 일기. 내 일기. My journal. 내 일기. My goals. 내 목표. 내 목표. My goals. 내 목표. 
my dreams. Nekum. Nekum. My dreams. Nekum. A to do list. Halkotel. Halkotel. A to do list. Halkotel. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 뭐 하고 있어요? 내 목표를 쓰고 있어요. What are you doing? 뭐 하고 있어요? I'm writing my goals. 내 목표를 쓰고 있어요. 뭐 하고 있어요? 내 꿈을 쓰고 있어요. What are you doing? 뭐 하고 있어요? I'm writing my dreams. 내 꿈을 쓰고 있어요. 뭐 하고 있어요? 할 것들을 쓰고 있어요. What are you doing? 뭐 하고 있어요? I'm writing a to-do list. 할 것들을 쓰고 있어요. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what are you doing? Imagine you're writing your goals. Do you remember how to say, my goals? 내 목표 내 목표 Say, I'm writing my goals. 내 목표를 쓰고 있어요. Now answer the question saying you're writing your goals. 뭐 하고 있어요? Now imagine you're writing your dreams. Do you remember how to say, my dreams? Say, I'm writing my dreams. Now, answer the question saying you're writing your dreams. Now, imagine you're writing a to-do list. Do you remember how to say a to-do list? 할 것들, 할 것들. Say, I'm writing a to-do list. 할 것들을 쓰고 있어요. Now, answer the question saying you're writing a to-do list. 뭐 하고 있어요? 할 것들을 쓰고 있어요. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use to talk about what you're writing about. You're now able to talk about your writing like a native speaker. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory, Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.